Oh. <laughs> and that just made YouTube. Hey. Oh. Well. Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Remington 870 short barrel shotgun that we have here. Those of you guys that follow me on social media know that we put in for this uh, probably three months ago. Got the tax stamp back in I'd say six weeks after we actually applied for it. That was e-file. For those of you that haven't seen my e-file video there will be a link in the description of the video. I just wanted to let you guys know basically the process, so it's just a basic e-file for it if you have a trust. If you don't, you obviously have to go through your chief law enforcement officer and file uh, via paper. Uh, what we did once we got the tax stamp in is we uh, contacted Wilson Combat, got some pretty cool stuff for them, from them I should say. Uh, we're going to go with a 14 inch barrel which is what we have on here. With that, when you do that, you'll have sort of a gap here, basically about the distance of one shell. So. That Wilson makes this really nice um, extension here. It's a plus one extension, which works perfectly for this combination. So uh, basically, just uh, put that on there. It comes with a new spring. It also comes with a new high visibility follower and your little sling attachment point here. So I put that on there. 14 inch 870p barrel. I think I got that from Botac for like 140 bucks, but it is a factory Remington police barrel. And this one here is an old used State Highway Patrol uh, gun, but obviously, it's got plenty of life left in it. We threw some Magpul furniture on there. This is still the MOE. It's not actually the MLOC Magpul stock, which I really like. And uh, we got the Enforce light on there. So really, it is a excellent uh, little setup if you wanted to use it for defensive purposes. Now, one of the pros of it, obviously, is the maneuverability of it. It really is easy to move with it. It's a relatively short overall gun, particularly with this stock with no uh, additional padding on there. Now, one of the downsides of it is you lose capacity. So w this gun with the 18 inch barrel, I believe is seven plus one if you have the full extension out there. Now down to 14 inches, you go down to five plus one. That's with this Wilson extension. Without it, you're four plus one. And that's with uh, two and three quarter inch shells. So if you're going with three inch, you're gonna lose one. And if you go with some of those little two and a half inch ones, uh, you gain one. So that's sort of how that works. Uh, function of it is perfect. Uh, zero issues at all. It doesn't affect functioning. Being a pump action shotgun, it really is debug technology. One other thing we threw on there is the Wilson Combat, uh, I think it's the scattergun technology as they call it, safety switch, which is really nice. You can actually just have your finger up off the uh, uh, trigger, on the trigger guard, push it in, and then get on the trigger, which is really nice. So uh, it's been great. I've put tons of rounds through it, which uh, hopefully will roll some of that stuff in through different range sessions here. And uh, in terms of just a gun that is an all business gun, it's certainly one of them there. Additionally, I should have mentioned that we had it engraved as well. So whenever you get that stuff in, uh, in make sure you engrave it with whatever the appropriate uh, information is, whether it's a trust or person. Um, so it's going to depend there. But really, it is a great little fun gun. We're shooting full house buck through it right now. And you can see it, it eats it up without problems. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions about the process, anything like that, you can post below. In the comment section you can also post over at my facebook page as always if you have any questions about the gun same thing uh i'll put a link below to a really good thread over on ar15.com that'll answer 95 percent of your nfa questions um should you have those so if you can't find it there by all means post below and uh other than that we're just going to keep doing some shooting and uh that should finish up the video we just wanted to give you guys a good look at it and uh links for everything that we have on here will be below in the video description as well. So thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to the B channel yet, please go ahead and do so. And uh, hope to see you in the next video.